Hi, welcome to SBR Videos. I'm Peter Loshak. We are talking right now with Al McMorty from BigAl.com. We're going to get his uh, thoughts on Arkansas, Mississippi State from college football. Week 10, Al McMorty, thanks for being back with us. Thanks a lot, Peter. Good to be here. All right, Al, you know, you've, you've had actually a, quite a decent record in our videos uh, this year. Uh, how are things going at uh, BigAl.com? Give a quick plug for uh, what that site's all about. Well, you know, back-to-back -back winning weeks, how we take most of our big plays, we did lose our play last week on Oklahoma State, but all the other big plays came through with flying colors. So it was a good week for us last week. We uh, swept the board on our big plays in the NFL, cashing with the Washington Redskins as our NFC East game of the year. We also won the Pittsburgh Steelers as a huge play. Mm. And um, it's, it's been really a great, uh, it's turned into a really good NFL season after a very slow start. Oh man, you, you had Pittsburgh last week? Yeah, that was my high roller of the year. Oh, so. God. Al, everyone that I previewed that game with in the SBR videos loved Indianapolis, and I personally am ashamed to say that I loved Indianapolis. I bet it pretty big. I lost pretty big on it. Uh, and you and you, and you you had Pitt. Yeah, you know, it's I've got my favorite NFL system. It's had five plays so uh. far this year, and it's, and it's a perfect 5-0. and oh. The previous week it cashed with the Jaguars. And I forget the other two teams. And then last week it had uh, both the Redskins and the Steelers, and it's a perfect 5-0 and on the year. So it's got two more plays this upcoming week, so we'll, we'll see how it goes. There you go. If you watched the SBR videos for free last week, you had a huge loser on Indianapolis. If you signed up at BigAl.com, you had the winning side in that one, Pitt. I was wondering, I was because everyone was on Indianapolis. I was like, I'm sure someone's on Pitt. I wonder who it is, and I wonder why. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm, the, I'm the contrarian. I'm always going to, well, not always, but usually go against the grain. Yeah, that one, when I talked to uh, to uh, Brent from BetDSI, he said his count was 8-1 to one on Indianapolis in that one. All right. Well, Big Al from BigAl.com. Obviously, you know what you're talking about. Arkansas-Mississippi State is the uh, the game we're going to discuss right now. Mississippi State's a 10 or 10.5 point home favorite. That's down a tick from the opener of 11. Total just came out. I'm seeing 64.5 for the total. And, you know, Mississippi State is rolling. They're a uh, 5-2 and two against the spread, although their, their spread for the last game uh, around 14 was was dead on. Arkansas, though, has also been a great bet on the year. 6-2 and two against the spread on the year. So uh, I'm not really sure which way I would lean here. Uh, what do you like here, Al? Well, you know, actually, last Saturday, most sports books were at 14 and a half for the Mississippi State uh, Kentucky game. Kentucky covered the closing line by a half point in that 45 31 defeat. Now, as you just mentioned, the Bulldogs are only laying 10 and a half here to Arkansas. And I like the number one ranked team to cover this number. The Bulldogs have scored 45, 38, and 48 in their last three games. And they now fall into a super system of mine, which is 185 and 112 against the spread since 1987. And what we want to do is play on any favorite which is off three wins in which it scored at least 35 points in each game, provided its opponent's point spread percentage for the season is 600 or better. And, of course, Arkansas has covered six of seven this season, so Arkansas's win percentage against a spread win percentage is 857. And then, you know, Peter, there's one more thing. Both Arkansas and Mississippi State are very high-scoring teams. The Razorbacks mm -hmm. are averaging 39.1 this season. Mississippi State's scoring 42.3. And when you get matchups in college football between teams that score 34 or more points per game, you want to really look at the home teams. The home teams do extremely well since 1980. They're 205 and 134 against the spread at Game 7 forward, including 168 and 97 ATS for home teams off a win. I'm going to lay the points here with the Bulldogs. All right, Mississippi State, minus 10 is a widely available number right now. Interesting analysis. Al McMorty, as always, he was recommending a play on Mississippi State. Thanks, Al. The SBR Network offers free sports picks and game breakdowns, big money free betting contests year round, a real time Vegas style odds monitoring service and much more. So come see for yourself. To stay updated on SBR news and promotions, follow us on Twitter, Facebook and Google Plus and do be sure to subscribe to the Sportsbook Review YouTube channel to catch all our daily sports shows.